My name is Christina and I am your librarian here at Christina's Bookshelf and today I am bringing you The Garden by Rosaline Abel. This is book number two in the Lavender Shore series. One of the main characters is Gilbert Bryant. We met him in the Palisade. He's Andrew's best friend. He's a member of one of the founding families of Lavender Shores, an up-and-coming jewelry designer, and in his mind, the black sheep of Lavender Shores. And for this reason, he hates coming home. Walden Thompson is a high school science teacher who has just finally found his way to Lavender Shores. It's a place he's always wanted to live since he was little and his family would venture through town on their way to vacation. They didn't stay, of course, because Lavender Shores is a safe haven for the LGBT community, and that is a sin. Well, Walden didn't just leave his family and hit Lavender Shores. He kind of made like a rough detour to get here. What absolutely killed me with this book, like annihilated my feelings, was the fact that both men look in the mirror and what they see is just nothing. They are not worth loving. They do not deserve to be loved, to find happiness, that forever person. They don't see themselves of any value whatsoever. And it broke my heart because I can totally relate to this. I have had a time in my life where I didn't see myself as being a value or why would this person want to be with me? What am I offering this situation besides a bunch of sadness and depression and just, I got it. But the wonderful and absolutely brilliant thing that Rosaline did is boosted them in such a way. So they kind of meet and they have what they think is like this one night stand, but neither can get the other out of their head. It's like they've clawed their way in. They just continue to have these little uh, meat cutes that lead to some crazy wicked wild sex, but we can't be in a relationship because I don't do relationships or I don't do relationships because I'm never good enough. And once again, like after this wicked hot sex, you're kind of dragged back down. But the brilliance of the story is that Gilbert starts to see Walden. When Walden lays out like all his things, like this is me, this is why I'll never be good enough for you. And Gilbert's like, I don't even understand why you think that. No, you're totally fine. Everything's fine. How you see this person is not how I see this person. Walden sees himself here. Gilbert sees Walden here. And it's like vice versa because when things are finally laid out, why Gilbert is how he is, what he did in his past, Walden's like, um, I can tell you now that that is not your fault and I don't understand why you're pressuring yourself about any of this. And so once again, where Gilbert sees himself down here, Walden sees Gilbert up here and they have to work with each other to kind of level and balance and say, you know what? We are good enough to have a relationship and we're good enough for each other they kind of heal. And I thought it was absolutely beautiful. Everything about this story, it hit home in so many different places for me and I absolutely enjoyed it. It was a blast. I mean, there's so much humor in this book, but there's so much self-deprecation in it also that I kind of just wanted to crack a whip a couple times and be like, you're both fantastic men. Suck it up. Let's do this. I thought that it was admirable that we had two characters that were down and we have to watch them build versus having a character down and the other one's like on planet Mars or whatever having the time of his life and he's going to try to bring character X up to Mars too. And instead we're building and we're building progressively making ourselves, each other, the world around us a better place. Now I did receive an arc of this book but I went ahead and bought it too because I wanted to see how some things played out that um, were different. And the only thing that I really have to say is editing. So I am giving The Garden by Rosaline Abel 4.5 stars simply because of editing. Other than that, I think this book is just on par with reality, with the pain and the therapy and the depression and anxiety. It's not a woe is me story because they actually have dealt with real life scenarios that are just yucky. The sex is freaking just flames about. You probably should just like, when you get to the sexy scenes, go ahead and take off your under things because unless you like to lounge about in wet spots, I think that's gonna be my word of warning for you for this. 
I'm putting the Amazon link down below so you can click it and be on your merry way to exploring two really kind of crazy characters that have so much in common. It's unbelievable. If you've enjoyed my review, I'm gonna ask that you help me with that YouTube algorithm and give me a like. Leave me a comment. I love to interact with all of you guys and go ahead and hit that subscribe button. My goal is to have something out for you guys every Monday through Thursday, but the magic of the subscribe button is you'll get a notification when I have it out because I don't know what time. If you're like me and think this chick's pretty cool, down below I'm gonna leave my website, my Facebook page, and my Twitter. If you have a book or an arc you'd like me to review, you can request via website. The Garden, Lavender Shores, a book number two by Rosalind Abel, 4.5 stars. Bye. Hi, my name is Christina and I am your librarian here at Christina's Bookshelf. And today I am bringing you a debut novel from Rosalind Abel. Shh, I know the secret identity. This book is called The Palisade. It is a Lavender Shores novel. It is the first book in the series. This book kind of reminded me of a couple of things. It had that very, very